good afternoon everyone so in this semester we will see the artificial neural networks in fuzzy system subject it is a core elective course and the corresponding course code is double e double four double two coming to the contents and objectives of the course first we will see the objectives of the course so the objectives are to introduce the basics of neural networks and its architectures and uh, to introduce the fuzzy sets fuzzy logic system components like fuzzification defuzzification and fuzzy rules and so on and also to deal with the applications of neural networks and fuzzy systems where these neural networks and fuzzy systems are in real time you can apply so those things you are the objectives of this course so at the end of the course you are able to learn the course outcomes as you are able to understand the artificial neural network models and their training algorithms and the concept of fuzzy logic system components like fuzzification defuzzification and uh, the rules fuzzy rules and so on and also how to apply these concepts to the real world problem and its applications even though matlab usage of this ann and fuzzy artificial neural network and fuzzy logic system is not there in your syllabus we will see that matlab usage or how to use this ann and fuzzy in matlab there also if time permits we will see at the end of the course so coming to the contents of this course so we are having five units so in the first unit we will see introduction to the neural networks so which basically deals with the how this neural networks evolves and what is the as this is artificial neural network what is a biological neural network what is actual neural network our human brain is actual neural network so like human brains computer evaluation evaluation and the uh, organization of the brain what is biological neuron what is artificial neuron and what are the models what are the architectures what are the applications are of this ann those things we will see in the first unit along with the essentials of artificial neural networks like types of neuron activation functions and learning strategies like supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning different type of learning rules all those things we will see in the first unit coming to the second unit so the second unit unit deals with the feed forward neural networks like you are having in the control system you have closed loop system with, with feedback and forward direction feedback direction how it is there in the control system like voice here also feed forward and back propagation networks it will be there so feed forward neural networks in that again single layer multi layer networks continuous discontinuous training algorithm with discontinuous and continuous perception networks so these are the few things what we are going to see in the second unit along with the multi layer feed forward neural networks in that we will see the back propagation training algorithms and so on. and uh, coming to the third unit the associated memories of this ann like pattern mathematics or happy and learning general concept of associated associative memory matrix rules bidirectional associative memory all these things we'll see in the 
third unit. So now coming to the fourth unit, fourth and fifth units are related to the fuzzy logic system. So in the fourth unit, we'll see the classical and classical sets and fuzzy sets. So this classical set, fuzzy set, how? What is the difference? And what is fuzzy? What is generally fuzzy means it is in vague. We can say like it is uh, in term, instead of saying S or no, one or zero. You can say in between one and zero. In between S and one, we can write some uh, rules. Based on the rules, this fuzzy logic system is going to work out. Like, what are the properties of this fuzzy logic sets? Operations, relations, membership functions, fuzzy relations. All these things we'll see in the fourth unit. Coming to the fifth unit, fuzzy logic system. It's gen generally fuzzy logic system is also like one of the controller. Like how uh, all of you know the conventional controller like PI, PID controller, there you have to adjust the parameter P, I, and P values. But here you have to give some rules, fuzzy rules to get the required output. In, in a similar way, artificial neural network also. These are like controllers. So you can get the required output by sending the input through this either artificial neural network or fuzzy logic system. So here also the fuzzification, defuzzification and uh, what are the learning or uh, fuzzy rules to get the output, required output, what we have to set as a rules. If you are giving more number of rules, you may get the precise output. So likewise, this fuzzy logic system is going to Coming to the references, the first reference, Rajashekaran and Pai. So this is one of the good textbook. It is available in online also. It is uh, for sale. It's not free version. You can get it through the any online portal. Neural networks, fuzzy logic, genetic algorithm, synthesis and applications by Rajashekaran and Pai. So this is almost, uh, you can get all the syllabus in this textbook, any one of the edition you can follow. And uh, second textbook is Neural Networks by Satish Kumar, edition and year, TMH in 2004. And coming to the reference books, Neural Networks by James A. Freeman and Davis Kapura. Another reference book, Neural Networks by Simon Hackins and also Neural Engineering by Elia Smith and Anderson. So these are the few reference books. Along with uh, these reference books, I may use some material or information from other references like few from internet sources like NPTEL, YouTube or Google. So wherever the required information is uh, available that I would like to in incorporate in this PPTs and further lessons and further PPTs. So this is all about the introduction about the course contents of the neural networks and fuzzy systems. So from the next class onwards we will see one by one. So thank you. Thank you.